They were here. They knew it all. They tried to tell us all. But we never listened. The ancient yogis of India were far more advanced than what any one of us could imagine. It is our misfortune that their knowledge was being ignored for so long. Imagine what humanity could have achieved if they had paid enough attention to what the yogis had discovered. The time has come. It is up to us now. The concept of evolution is central to understanding the origins and development of life on Earth. Interestingly, the Hindu cosmological narrative of the Dashavatara, or the Ten Incarnations of Lord Vishnu, seems to metaphorically echo the scientific progression of life, from aquatic organisms to advanced human civilizations. This interpretation is not explicitly documented in ancient texts, but the parallels offer a fascinating intersection between ancient knowledge and modern science. The Matsya avatar, a fish, represents the earliest stage of life in water as described in the Satapatha Brahmana. Science confirms that life began in aquatic environments approximately 3.5 billion years ago with the emergence of single-celled organisms that gradually evolved into complex aquatic life. The story of Matsya, where Vishnu rescues the Vedas during a great deluge, symbolizes the preservation and transmission of knowledge, akin to the genetic information encoded in DNA, which ensures the continuity of life. The Kurma avatar, a tortoise, signifies the transition from aquatic to amphibious life. In evolutionary biology, this stage corresponds to the emergence of amphibians in the Devonian period around 360 million years ago. The story of Kurma, who supports Mount Mandara during the churning of the ocean or the Samudra Manthan, reflects the balance required during a transformative stage, a theme that resonates with the delicate shift from water to land ecosystems. The Varaha avatar, a boar, depicts a fully terrestrial creature. The boar's act of lifting Earth from the cosmic ocean in the Bhagavata Purana symbolizes stabilization and order on land. Scientifically, this can be correlated with the dominance of terrestrial vertebrates during the Permian period, which laid the foundation for the rise of mammals. The Narasimha avatar, a being that is half lion and half human, represents a transitional form, analogous to the evolutionary bridge between animals and early humans. This avatar's role in destroying the tyrant Hiranyakashipu illustrates the emergence of intelligence and strength required to overcome challenges, a metaphor for survival mechanisms in evolutionary biology. The Vamana avatar, a dwarf, embodies the early stages of human evolution marked by small stature and limited capabilities. The story of Vamana taking three giant steps to claim the universe symbolizes the human potential to achieve greatness despite initial limitations. In evolutionary terms, this could represent Australopithecus, an early hominin species that began walking upright, a significant milestone in human development. Parashurama, the axe-wielding warrior, reflects the phase of human evolution where tool-making became central to survival. The use of tools and weapons by early humans, such as Homo habilis, revolutionized hunting and self-defense. Parashurama's narrative, where he combats the corrupt Kshatriyas, underscores the emergence of societal structures and the use of technology to enforce justice. Lord Rama represents the epitome of moral and social order, as depicted in the Ramayana. His rule, Brahma Rajya, symbolizes the establishment of advanced civilizations with governance, ethics, and familial bonds. This stage aligns with the rise of Homo sapiens and the development of organized societies, agriculture, and urbanization during the Neolithic period. Lord Krishna's life, chronicled in the Mahabharata, reflects intellectual and spiritual evolution. His teachings emphasize self-realization, duty, and the pursuit of knowledge. This avatar correlates with the cultural and philosophical advancements seen in ancient human civilizations as humans began to question existence and explore metaphysics. 
Buddha, often considered an avatar of Vishnu, signifies the culmination of human evolution into a state of higher consciousness. His teachings, centered on compassion and enlightenment, resonate with humanity's ethical and spiritual aspirations. This phase can be seen as a societal evolution, where intellectual growth supersedes physical dominance. The Kalki avatar, yet to appear, represents the destruction of corruption and the renewal of the world. In scientific terms, this could be interpreted as the ongoing evolution of humanity, facing existential threats such as climate change and technological disruptions, potentially leading to transformative changes in our species. Ancient Hindu texts, such as the Vedas and Puranas, often employ symbolic language to convey profound truth. Modern science, with its empirical approach, often uncovers parallels to these narratives. For instance, the cyclic nature of time in Hindu cosmology mirrors modern cosmological theories about the oscillating universe. Modern science increasingly recognizes the value of ancient knowledge systems, particularly in areas such as ecology, medicine, and philosophy. Concepts like Ayurveda, yoga, and meditation rooted in Hindu traditions, have gained global acceptance for their contributions to health and well-being. Similarly, Hindu cosmology offers frameworks for understanding humanity's place in the universe. The Dashavatara, with its alignment to evolutionary stages, serves as a reminder of the timeless relevance of ancient wisdom. By viewing the ancient texts through the lens of science, we can uncover new ways to address contemporary challenges from environmental conservation to ethical dilemmas. Descriptions like those of Dashavatara underscore humanity's quest to understand its origins and purpose. The ancient sages, through allegory and symbolism, may have intuited patterns of change and adaptation that science is only now beginning to unravel. The correlation between the ten avatars of Vishnu and the scientific theory of evolution provides a powerful lens to appreciate the convergence of ancient knowledge and modern science. While these parallels should not be seen as definitive proof of ancient foresight into evolutionary biology, they do highlight the timeless wisdom embedded in Hindu texts. By studying these narratives, modern science can draw inspiration to explore questions of existence, evolution, and the future of humanity.